70% off the original price. And with 70% off the remaining Trim the Home items next Christmas looks great. It's a new decade to save tomorrow and Monday. The New Year's Sale. The most fun on the weekend. On Hot 102. American Dance Tracks. Thanks for turning on this very special, very fresh edition of American Dance Tracks. A decade of dance. I'm Jeff Wyatt and we're taking a look back at 10 years that changed the way we listened, looked, and most of all, moved. In 1982, Vince Clark left Depeche Mode and hooked up with Allison Moyet to form Yazoo. Now, here's the situation. Their single is a hit in the UK, but they have to change their name to Yaz and Dance in America because of conflict. The name change doesn't hurt the music as Situation becomes one of the biggest dance floor jams of 1982. From 1982, Allison Moyet and Vince Clark, Yaz with Situation. Our decade of dance moves on to 1983 now, and this was the year that dance really exploded into our lives, set off by the dynamic performances of Michael Jackson. And how does Michael explain all his success? Um, just loving what I do and speaking from the heart, being honest, really. <laughs> I can't quite form it down to a special formula or anything. It's uh, just wanting to do great work, you know, and doing it. Like this classic from 1983, Michael Jackson and Billy G. <laughs> singer quietly making her presence known as she prepared to take her place among the greats, Madonna. It's what I expected and hoped for in Holiday, you know, I think the songs that I released before Holiday had the same potential to be across the board hits. It's what I wanted all along, so to me it's not a surprise. Madonna from 1983 on American Dance Tracks. Did it for her. from 1983 Madonna and Holiday as our decade of dance continues. I'm Jeff Wyatt. In 1983, we'll continue with a lady who works hard for her money. When American Dance Tracks comes right back. Stay with us. This is Dusty Lenscap for the Kmart Photos. Just wouldn't be a party without Sentry. second hour of a decade of dance, a very special, a very fresh edition of American Dance Tracks. I'm Jeff Wyatt, and a decade of dance is a look back at the last 10 years and the music that changed the way we looked, listened, and moved. Along with the top hits of each year, we're meeting the artists who made that music so magical, like the lady who spent 1983 working very hard for the money. Here's Donna Summer. Summer from 1983 on American Dance Track, she works hard for the money. Moving into 1984 now, one of the important stories in dance in America and around the world was fashion. A hot seller on both sides of the Atlantic were oversized t-shirts that said relax and Frankie says. Remember those? Well, the phrases came from the group Frankie Goes to Hollywood, whose record relax had been deemed pornographic by the BBC and was banned in England. Well, that didn't stop either the record or or the t-shirts from bagging big bucks. Frankie goes to Hollywood from 1984. Relax.
for Let the Music Play. Before that, Frankie goes to Hollywood and relax. Well, the really big story in music during 1984 was Prince and the release of his autobiographical film, Purple Rain. The first single off the album becomes Prince's first chart topper by selling over 2 million copies and earns a very rare Platinum 45 designation. When Doves Cry, Prince on American Dance Track's Decade of Dance. with his biggest selling single ever from 1984, When Doves Cry. When our decade of dance continues into 1985, a lucky star proves she's a star that's here to stay. I'm Jeff Wyatt, and American Dance Tracks returns right after these. Don't go away. American Dance Tracks. This is Demo. to the only radio show featuring a decade of dance, American Dance Tracks. Welcome in. I'm Jeff Wyatt, and in 1985, Madonna's second album, Like a Virgin, was released to rave reviews and monster sales. Instead of just being a lucky star, Madonna was proving she was a star who was here to stay. You can't keep something good down, you know. You just get to the point where, you know, you define, you know, a different category, or you just break the rules. I think that I'm destined to do that. From 1985, Madonna, Like a Virgin, on American Dance Tracks. Madonna's first number one from 1985, Like a Virgin, on American Dance Tracks. Well, in 1985, the group Dead or Alive, led by Pete Burns, had their first hit in the U.S. It was produced by Stock Aiken and Waterman, and called You Spin Me Round Like a Record, going all the way to number 